Hey y'all, it's uh, Stephen Van Camp and Lewis on May 21st, although I'm going to release this video on May 28th, but regardless, it's almost Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, and that's kind of about the time that I start thinking about watering my catacetums in earnest, to be honest. So typically what happens is that up until now, I haven't really watered a whole lot of them, maybe one or two. Actually, this year, I really haven't started watering any. Um, but, interestingly enough, I have a lot that should probably be watered right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, A, which ones I'm going to water, which is probably most of them, and B, I'm going to film this in a couple days after I've watered for the first time, so that you can see how the plant just sort of plumpens up. Those back bulbs really, really get fat. So, um, I'm going to move my catacetums over here and then uh, show you which ones, well, just give you kind of a status update and then, then we'll start to water them, which of course this time of year is, is super fun and, and those of you who are catacetum growers, you know how exciting it is to finally water for the first time of year. Before I do, I want to let you know that there is some fertilizer, a little bit of, uh, actually some, some of the, the Jax fertilizer that Paula sent me over at uh, Hillbilly Orchids. She has her own YouTube channel. And uh, I've added a little bit of kelp max in there as well. So all the plants uh, that are getting watered today will get that sort of little bit of concoction. And hopefully that really jump starts their root growth, their plant growth, and those back bulbs to fat up. All right, so I have flipped back the shade cloth, as you can see over there. It is actually raining right now, which, um, you know, apparently even Mother Nature wants to really water these plants. So I say we get it started. And what I'm going to do is, you know, you can see that there's a whole bunch of uh, pretty tall growths right here. Uh, there's some flower spikes, and there's even one that's in full bloom. And that one's kind of a troublesome one, but, it, you know, I'll show it to you here in a sec. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up probably three of them, and that way I can show you some that are going to get water here and and then I'll put a little flag in them actually so that I can go back and pull them in a couple days and show you how much their pseudobulbs have thickened since I've watered them. And in fact I'm going to start with this Catacetum tenebrosum which is right here. That is in full bloom. So you can see these flowers here, which is pretty cool. They haven't fully opened yet, but you know this is this is one of those plants that is the first to develop in the spring. And something weird happened with this one. So it has a new growth, but I don't remember. I can't remember if it got um, crunched during the move or what. But so this new growth basically died back. But the roots kept growing. So while I'm not getting a new growth right now, I'm hoping that it'll put out another one and uh, that these roots are long enough that they've gone down into the media. Let me see if I can confirm that. I don't see any in the bottom, but you know, the condition of these bulbs is such that they need water no matter what. So I'm going to water this guy right now and put the flag in it and see what happens. I'm kind of curious. So as you can tell, there's, you know, got a really nice spike going on. It's a really cool one. Tenebrosum has got those dark petals and sepals in that kind of a, a yellow-green lip there. And this one is, is a weird case with a weird, unexpected result. So let's see what happens when we water this guy. So there are a lot of folks who will say that when you first water them, you just want to give them a little bit. I haven't found that to be particularly useful. Um, you know, it works if you want to give them just a little bit of water and then come back and then start hitting them with more water after a week or two. But 
you know, the PET method, there's just this water well in the bottom. And it doesn't really facilitate having just a little bit of water. So, as you can see, there's plenty of water down in the bottom here, below these holes. And this media will get super soaked. And take a, a good look at those pseudobulbs, and we'll see if in a couple days that those new roots and even the old roots have provided enough water to the plant for it to really fatten back up. So this is a Chuck Taylor with a couple of buds that didn't make it for some reason. Luckily this is one, you know, a plant this size will bloom several times in a season, a growing season. So while I lost one, two, three, four, five buds, um, I'll get them all back hopefully on the next bloom. And, and this, this is a plant that is well is far enough along that it it can be watered you know there's still actually a lot of energy in these back bulbs but it's you know it's 100 degrees outside regularly now uh, next week is gonna be nice it'll be in the low 80s but after this quote quote unquote cold front but uh, this will be this is a good a good candidate for watering and to show you what these pseudo bulbs look like um, after getting some water so let's give this one some water too So you can see that as I water, you know, there should be enough that it flows over and comes out the bottom. You know, if I was back at my house, I would hit this with a hose pretty hard and just completely soak it through, just tons of water coming out the bottom. But I'm a little constrained here uh, being, being here on the apartment deck and, and just hauling water back and forth. Let's put this one back. As I mentioned, I have these flags so that I can remember which ones I showed to y'all. <laughs> you can tell that, yes, I am an environmental consultant with my wetland flags here. Put that guy there, and this one into the Chuck Taylor, and I'm going to pick one more to water. So this is a smaller one. This is Mormides Ignea by Aftermath, and this is one of the ones that I got from Fred Clark last year. And I know that Mormides and Cycnikes don't aren't particularly fond of having exceptionally dry conditions, especially when it's wet. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna. I was about to say that I'm gonna water this one early. You can see this root is coming down here, but also you can see that this root is starting to wrap around the bottom here. So this guy is good to go. This one is is another one that is a good candidate for full-on watering um, in part because it's not super excited about being this dry for this long uh, also because it has the, the appropriate length of roots and so you know you want your this is a smaller plant so a four inch um, root minimum is is best to start watering and you know that's a blanket rule it's a generalization and this guy meets that these larger ones that are just getting watered for the first time uh, have much longer roots. I, I bet most of their roots are, you know, getting close to this long. So these larger plants, you can wait longer, and you should wait longer. And, and then these smaller plants, you're going to have a little bit less, um, a little bit of a shorter root length before you really start hitting it with water. And there we have it. Got a pretty good water well on the bottom here. As you can see, the water's kind of floating around in there. And it's going to be absorbed by the media and start heading up and really dousing this plant with good water and nutrients. 
So I'm going to stick the wetland flag in this guy as well so that in a couple days I can come back and compare what these all look like. And also, um, I'm going to water the rest of the plants right now. So I think there's only a handful that are not going to get watered at this point. So I'm going to quickly water these guys, speed up the frame so it's not boring for y'all, and and that's it. That's for, that's it for today's today's um, discussion. So that's it. Everybody is now officially watered and let the growing season begin. And I'm excited to show you guys what this, what these blooms look like here in, I don't know, I bet these will open probably by Memorial Day, so by, by Monday I bet. And um, maybe I'll include that in the following week's video. Okay, <clears throat> today is the 26th and which means it's been what four or five days since I watered these guys um, actually let me get these flags out of here and let's check it out check out that back bulb <clears throat> back bulb this is the Mormides and that back bulb was pretty shriveled so the zip tie is showing that this back bulb is now fully engorged and swollen and it is uh, back to its normal size. The next one was that weird one, the, the Cattleya tenebrosum, excuse me, Catacetum tenebrosum. And you can see that the flowers are kind of dying, that lip has recurved, and some of these guys are just toast. But more importantly the new roots did what they're supposed to do these bulbs this front bulb is mostly swollen again these back bulbs are looking pretty good and even better is that i have a new growth coming in right there do you see that guy right there so that will mean that i'll have actually two sets of roots for this tenebrosum and maybe just maybe i'll get another set of blooms of course <clears throat> this is one of those species where the blooms open up uh, before the, the growth is mature so I'll, I'll know probably in a couple weeks whether or not i get another bloom spike and finally the the most impressive recovery of course is the chuck taylor you see these bulbs excuse me these buds are looking nice and fat almost ready to open but more important than that look at these bulbs these things are massive compared to what they were. So this plant will now uh, just explode with growth. The, the heat, the sun, the water, the nutrients will all lead this these guys to just get huge, 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 nice and quick. And then um, come November, of course, they, the leaves will fall off. I anticipate that um, the new bulbs coming in will be bigger than this one. And then, of course, the leaves coming off will be will be enormous. <clears throat>